What's up, everybody? It's me, Anna, and I'm back with another episode of Yunea's Burning Tech Issues. This week, let's talk about Samsung's soon to be released Galaxy Note 3 and Apple's new tablet delays. So, another smartphone I really do believe is going to live up to its hype is Samsung's Galaxy Note 3, which has been confirmed to make its public debut at this year's IFA event this week, September 4. Now, for everybody's information, I actually own a Samsung Galaxy. Note 2. It has a whopping 5.5 inch display which I am absolutely in love with. Mwah. To the point that I don't feel the need to get myself a tablet at all. Now thanks to a slip up by a Samsung executive, I now know that the Note 3 is actually coming with, get this, a 5.9 inch display. That's insane! Now that we're on the subject of sharing stuff, I would just like to say that I don't actually know how to feel about this size upgrade. I mean, I'm a huge fan of this size, but I'm not gonna deny that it takes a solid two-handed commitment to operate this phone. Now, I'm sure most people out there who own a touchscreen phone knows the pain of having it dropped on your face while you're using it lying down. Do you see this? It's almost as big as my head. So when I accidentally drop this thing on my face, imagine my pain. So once the Note 3 comes out, imagine that pain. Oh, and don't forget the potential pain of the Note 3's price tag, which is rumored to be around $800. Ouch. So one of the questions on my mind is, how big is big enough for phablets out there on the market? When are they gonna stop? Now we can move on to Apple's delays in releasing their new line of tablets. One of our more credible sources online just told everybody that we can't expect any new tablets tablets from Apple at the keynote event happening this September 10th. Ah, I can hear all of the resounding booing all over the globe. Now before you start flipping tables, let me just remind all of you that this is not actually the first time that Apple will be releasing the tablets at a much later date than the new generation iPhone. Let's take what happened last year as an example. The iPhone 5 was released in September and the tablets followed a lot later sometime in October. Even though this is a little bit disappointing, don't worry, there will be enough time to get them on your Christmas wish list either way. A few more things you can all look forward to during the keynote happening this month are the new MacBook Pro, the iMac, and the release of the iOS 7. Alrighty, so that's it for this week's burning tech issue episode. Once again, this was Anna. And let me just remind you that you can follow Yunea on Twitter and on Facebook. And don't forget, check out their website over on www.yunea.com and you can find lots of really cool cases and cool accessories for your gadgets. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye!